Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. Your spirit guides have some urgent messages they want to bring to you at this time. So let's get into it Aries, let's see what they have to say. So you guys got love life too. Pisces got this first thing out. Now this message obviously will not apply to all Aries, but your spirit guides urgently want some Aries to know the basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. All right, Aries, huge improvements in love and romance for some of you. This is existing connections. Okay, and then also my single Aries, there's a love coming in for you. Your spirit guides urgently want you to know this. All right, let's pull another card, see what else they have to say. Oh my goodness, birthday, a significant birthday holds the answer to your questions. Okay, so Aries, I am recording this in Pisces season. Next season up is you guys, your birthdays, okay? So I feel everything that comes through in this reading from your spirit guides is all going to happen by your birthday, okay? Um, also, for some of you, you could be involved with the Pisces since we're currently in Pisces season or you're about to meet a Pisces, all right? But... Big blessings by your birthday, Aries. And assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. So another urgent message from your spirit guides, Aries, to not, don't be pressured, don't be bullied, don't be gaslit. If you don't want to do something, it doesn't feel right for you, don't do it, Aries. I don't care who it is that's asking something of you. Your spirit guides are saying, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you feel uncomfortable, it doesn't feel aligned with you, don't do it. Also, this is a message of to not settle for less than what you deserve. Sometimes when we've been waiting for something, we're holding out, it's been a while, we start to feel weak and low and down and sad and your spirit guides are saying Aries do not settle good stuff is coming in something magical is happening by your birthday some of you this is around your love life and for others of you this is a different area of your life but something special and something magical is happening by your birthday Aries Look at this, the Emperor, the card that represents you in the tarot. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. Aries, things are starting to look really good. And you know, at the end of March, we have the Libra full moon lunar eclipse, which is closing the door on old energy. And then on April 4th, we have the Aries New Moon Solar Eclipse Portal. You are being very empowered. And we currently have the North Node in the sign of Aries. Okay, so this is an empowering time for you. Your spirit guides urgently want you to know this. Aries, a lot is going to be changing. Ten of Spring, your burden is getting lighter. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So this also coming out next to this assertiveness, Aries, don't let somebody guilt trip you, okay? If you've got a lot on your plate, you don't have enough time, you don't have enough energy, you just outright don't wanna do something, really put your foot down, okay? But also what I'm getting is through this uh, blessing, 
that's coming in. It lifts a burden off of you, Aries. Your spirit guides are acknowledging your birthday, Aries, and they're wishing you a very happy birthday. heels up. There's a lot of happiness, joy, and fun coming in between now and your birthday. Moving forward fearlessly, finally, things are in motion. You don't feel stagnated. You don't feel stale. You're feeling excited. Look inside yourself. So there's also some revelations. And this really comes over here, Aries. Assert yourself. Have your boundaries. If something doesn't feel right, don't proceed forward. Okay? Such a strong message. And be honest with yourself. You know, if there's somebody or something that you don't like, it just doesn't resonate with you, it's okay to let it go. It's okay to walk away, Aries. It really is. Your spirit guides are telling you that right now. Even if you are trying to be nice, you're trying to preserve a connection, you're not trying to make waves, whatever the case may be, Aries, you need to really stand up for yourself and stand your ground right now. And with that being a message from your spirit guides, you can trust in that and you can trust that you will have a positive outcome by doing so. Don't take on more burdens when your plate is already full. And you're being blessed. They want you to know that strongly as well. You are about to be blessed in big ways. Also, Aries, this is a time to be bold and to be brave. And you have inner reserves of strength. This is a good time to take risks, to believe in yourself, to start projects, to let go of patterns of behavior, to release the old. Things are getting better. And Aries, if you don't like something, it's just not working. Be real with yourself about it. Even if you don't want to hurt someone's feelings or you were really hoping something would pan out, but you're like, oh, this, just, this isn't working for me. This isn't fitting on me right. Trust that and go with that. It's okay. Be true to you. Don't give in to fear. Don't settle, Aries. Also, I'm getting, for some of you, this is going to be a very special birthday. Those of you that are born on April 4th, this is going to be a powerful, intense time because that is the Aries new moon solar eclipse 4 4 portal. So those of you with birthdays on the 4th, it might be a birthday that you will never forget in a positive way. Doors are opening. Insights are coming. Pentacles. It's been a slow and steady journey so far. Queen of Cups. You might be a little in your emotions. King of Cups. Oh my goodness. And Five of Swords. Okay. So you've been dealing with some emotions, with some heaviness, but you're coming out of that. Okay. On the bottom, 
we have the world. So heaviness around relationships, love and romance coming to an end. And see it right here, divine counterparts with the king and queen of cups. So those of you where this is about your love life, you and your romantic partner are truly going to get on the same page very soon about your relationship and the direction of it. Okay, but some of my single Aries out there, this is beautiful. This is your true soulmate love. All right. Um, also, what I felt very interesting is some of you, there could be some disagreement or some sort of disruption, unalignment between you and your parents. Okay, or you could be, um, you could have grown children, but I, I see this queen and king as like parents. So there could be some trouble and whether it's your grown children or your own parents, you know, you being gr grown Aries, you've really got to assert yourself. Okay. Because something has happened here that made you feel very defeated and your spirit guides are saying, no, do not back down assert yourself what happened to you was wrong even though this is family you need to speak your truth and stand your ground on that be honest with yourself of how you really feel about what happened but you're definitely coming out of some feelings of disappointment and defeat Look at this, Three of Cups, happiness, celebration, celebration of you, birthday, something happening really good by then. Knight of Swords. So yeah, Aries, this is you speaking your truth, speaking your mind. Four of Pentacles, energy is finally opening up. And you know, if somebody wants to be stubborn, in in their stance that's fine aries let them but don't you bend don't you compromise don't you back down because what you're feeling inside is right for you you really do need to stand your ground and now look at this we have the three of wands ships coming in happiness celebration things are getting better aries and by your birthday something really special is coming in your spirit guides urgently want you to know that. They also want you to feel confident in yourself and not put up with anybody's crap because you don't deserve it. And this, um, for those of you where this is like a new love coming in, I feel that you meet this person like out and about. You could be out celebrating your birthday and you just you meet somebody new. But I feel like you're you're out and about when you meet this person. I don't feel like this is somebody off a dating app or anything like that. And my um Aries who are already involved, there's improvement happening in your relationship with your partner Courage, young heart. Stand tall. Don't let love decrease. You are a warrior of PC. Courage, young heart. That's you, Aries. Be strong. Assert yourself. Stand your ground. You will prevail. Rain. Rain, rain comes today. Let all of your troubles wash away. See this blessing that's coming in by your birthday making everything better 
sleep underneath the nighttime skies. The fairies sing you lullabies. You're going to be able to sleep better at night by asserting yourself, standing your ground. Okay, and the blessing that's coming in is lifting a burden off of you, which allows you to sleep better. And animal healing. No matter the creatures, earth, sky, or sea, animals show us how true love can be. You know, Aries, some of you are going to be getting a new pet. You, I don't think you're planning on it right now, but it's just going to very naturally happen. And this is a special pet that is going to be very healing and therapeutic for you. But also, Aries, you have an animal spirit with you working with you and helping guide, guide you, leaving you signs and synchronicities, all right? So these are the messages your spirit guides urgently wanted you to know. Big improvement in love life situations, special blessing by your birthday, and stand your ground. I am sending you lots of love and light, Aries. Take care.